Welcome to a PFT Systems instructional video on how to assemble our Black Gator Field Attachable Male Gator Connector. Today, Brad will show you how to quickly and easily assemble our Field Attachable Connector. But first, I'd like to point out several important Black Gator advantages. First, PFT's exclusive black finish provides maximum protection against well bore conditions and with its inherent lubricating properties, it reduces thread galling and seizing, allowing for a smooth breakout and makeup every time. Second, PFT's new two-piece tri-boot sealing element provides all the conductor protection you need. Third, PFT's flat armor adapter eliminates the need to transition flat cable to round. Fourth, since no potting is necessary, no time is wasting keeping potty compound warm or waiting for it to set up. And lastly, the PFT male gator connector is modular, serving as either half of the gator splice system or as the upper connector on our gator pack packer penetrator system. These design differences are why the black gator is the fastest, most user-friendly field attachable connector on the market. Brad will now start the assembly. First, make sure you have the following tools ready. Your company approved cutting tool, hacksaw, sandpaper, flat file, pliers, tin snips, and a marker. All other items used in the assembly are included in the connector kit. To start, hold the cable up against the side of the hanger and mark the cable at five and one quarter inches. After you mark it, cut the cable at the mark and proceed with the assembly of the connector. First, slide the armor adapter approximately eight inches down the cable. Armor adapters are supplied for flat and round cables. Now, using the supplied red cut gauge, measure and mark the armor at four and one quarter inches. Carefully remove the armor and secure it in place. If assembling the connector on the overwrapped end of the cable, secure the armor in place by tightly wrapping it two times with high modulus tape. You can now slightly spread the three conductors and remove any tape and or braid from each. Inspect for damage. If there is any damage, remeasure the armor and cut again. Note, recheck overall length. If the cable must be reprepped, the production tubing length may need to be adjusted. Using the supplied red cut gauge, measure and mark the lead sheath or barrier at three inches. Strip back the lead sheath or barrier from each conductor being careful not to damage the primary insulation. Inspect for damage. If there is any damage, start again from the beginning. Note, recheck overall length. If the cable must be reprepped, the production tubing length may need to be adjusted. Now, again using the supplied red cut gauge, measure and mark the conductor insulation at the three quarter inch insulation line and strip back the conductor insulation on each leg. Pencil or taper the ends of the copper conductors. Then lightly abrade and clean the exposed copper. Now slide the wave spring onto the cable and up to the armor adapter. Then slide the drive sleeve up to the wave spring. Use the supplied red cut gauge and measure back one and three quarter inches or 44 millimeters from the end of each conductor and mark. Using the supplied high modulus tape, begin taping each leg. Start at the armor cut using a 50% overlap and a half stretch on the tape and wrap to the one and three quarter inch tape line mark. Make sure to end with the tape straight up and down aligned with the tape line mark. Then wrap the tape back towards the armor cut. Be sure to cover all exposed insulation. Note, always apply high modulus tape as instructed, even if lead jacket or barrier is not present. Now cut and remove any excess tape. Carefully bend each leg so that they will form a triangle that the seals will fit over. The two outside conductors should be bent downwards and the center one upwards. Do not stress or crack lead or barrier. The legs must be bent equally. This can be checked by making sure that the lead cuts, insulation cuts, and conductor ends of each leg are even with each other. Before proceeding any further, thoroughly clean each conductor. 
Take the black cable seal and lightly grease its face. Then insert the flat side of the gray secondary seal into the recess of the black cable seal. Now hold up the black and gray cable seal assembly and slide the follower over the three legs of the cable seal. Spread the three conductors apart and apply a light coat of the provided silicone grease on each one. Take the seal assembly and slide it over the three conductors until the nose of the gray secondary seal is even with the insulation cut. Clean exposed copper conductors and the gator grip contacts with contact cleaner. You can now slide the conductor terminals onto each conductor until they stop at the insulation. Use the supplied Allen wrench to tighten the set screw terminals onto the conductors. Now lightly lubricate the OD of the cable seal assembly. You can now position the nose of the cable seal assembly to touch the back of the conductor terminals. Then slide the drive sleeve up until it makes contact with the follower. Now slide the wave spring until it makes contact with the drive sleeve and slide the armor adapter until it makes contact with the wave spring. Then while holding the drive sleeve against the follower body, slide the major body assembly onto the three conductor terminals and cable seal assembly. While holding the downhole cable securely, push the major body assembly until it shoulders out. If needed, gently tap the front side of the outer shell of the assembly with a rubber mallet until it comes to a stopping point. Do not hit the metal contacts inside the shell. Now, insert the three 632nd by 3 inch Allen head screws into the end of the major body and tighten them with a supplied Allen wrench. Alternate the tightening of each screw until all are snug. Now you can slide the armor adapter and wave spring up into the back of the assembly and tighten with the set screws. When using a flat armor adapter, loosen the large cap screws. Using the two small set screws in the adapter, adjust both so they are equally spaced on the cable. Tighten the two small set screws until made up and then lightly snug up the two large cap screws. When using the round armor adapter, simply run it into the back of the assembly and secure the set screws on the OD. You now have a fully assembled, field detachable male gator connector. As you've just seen, the PFT male gator is the fastest, most user-friendly field detachable connector on the market. Most importantly, it provides performance you need through the harshest of conditions. So when you want the best in field attachable connectors, remember the good guys wear black. Ask for the Black Gator Field Attachable Male Gator Connector from PFT. Power feed through systems and connectors.